That's a lot of wind. Let's go fishing. Well, Jeremy, there's one thing that people can't say about us, that we don't have guts <laughs> because there's a little little breeze on the lake today. That's one thing to call it, that's for sure. Oh, guts. man. Yeah. yeah, well, we took off this morning. It was actually 50 degrees. It's now 38 degrees. Temperatures dropped. And the news of the day, I mean, it's the news of all, all of our area is the wind. Uh, sustained 20 to 25 mile per hour wind with gusts hitting over 50 miles per hour. And wasn't sure if we were going to die or not today, but no, we didn't die. I mean, uh, I followed Jeremy around. He was my guide today. And now you tell me if you got a different perspective. But I thought all of our fish today were weed-oriented. And I say that because it seemed like every fish we caught were around the weeds. Even some of the fish had weeds in their mouth. What you got in there, Brunel? Oh, you got a critter. Look how he ate that jerk bait right where he wanted. Oh, he got me too. So, here we are. What is today's date? November 27th. 27th, the day before Thanksgiving. Out here with Jeremy Bunnell. Jeremy and I tore up some fish on a blade bait last year. See a link to that video in the description. And well, we're fishing deeper. Jeremy got one on a, on a jerk bait, excuse me, a pike on a blade bait deep. And uh, missed one. Oh, I missed one. And then he says, let's go up shallow. And now it's 39 and a half degree water. We're in eight foot of water, tons of weeds. Literally, first cast of jerk bait. Booyah! That's how it's done. Now we're going to get him. Another bike. Better bike. Good here. You going to do it? Bet I can do it. I carry Friday. <laughs> Nicely done. Again, up in the shallower weeds. Now we are bass fishing. This is a nice bonus for bass fishing, but see, bass and pike eat the same stuff. So this does not discourage me in any way. I think that definitely that was the pattern. We needed to find a little bit of depth that had some good yeah. you know, weed at the bottom that was still kind of active, a little bit of green, a little bit of fresh. Um, if we found that, we seemed to find some fish. birthday. I'll have to sing happy birthday to him later. We got a large mouth bass. Oh, we'll set a swim. A little legal sized fish. And it is a little breezy today. This time of year, you're not sure where to go. Just go where you know people ice fish at. Talk to the ice fishing holes. Bass are going to be there too. Bass, pike, you name it. And uh, look at the weed inside of us. See the weed there? It tells me that we're, that we're late to. Where comes the fish? Um, yeah, we had weeds on the hooks, weeds in the mouths. Yeah. I think very good assessment, Andy. Now, we, we actually threw a host of baits. Yeah. Alabama rig, Ned rig, tube, jerk bait. Got one quality fish on jerk bait. Mm -hmm. 
And the way I, I looked at that fish is that it bit right in the middle of that bait. And it's a pretty big jerk bait I was throwing. Uh, by the way, all the stuff we're using is in the description. You can just look down to the uh, description and, and find links to everything. But it bit it right in the middle, which told me that by uh, bringing that bait over some weeds, it came up in perfect ambush situation. I really thought we'd catch a few more doing that. Did not. But everything else came down to a blade bait. Yeah. Ah, he's a little darker in color. Look at this. I got smallmouth bass. Yes. We're having a blast with smallmouth bass. Coming to an area that's got a kind of a deep pocket. You can, you can tell we're out, out of the main, off the main lake getting some protection. Uh, protection of the wind and uh, this is a popular ice fishing area and it's a deeper pocket here deeper hole I'll call it that and uh, yeah, some weeds mixed in and perfect recipe and everything's blade bait 39 40 degree water temperature you know of course right um, I think the other thing to note about the blade bait I was colored today. yeah um, Truth be told, I don't really usually believe in like a strong color pattern. We received to kick my butt today uh, with a different color. And uh, I'm stubborn, but I'm not that stubborn. So I quickly changed, I kind of matched. I went from a perch color to a gold. He got selfish. <laughs> he got selfish. He hogged all the fish, gosh darn it. I mean, he got like seven or eight in a row. About to start changing stuff. Now you're hogging all the fish. Yeah. Hey Joe. So went from a perch colored blade bait, uh, probably a stubborn leaf because I was working with that pretty much most of the day. Not having any luck, and uh, my friend Andy Buss here was throwing a gold colored blade bait. We turn the cameras around. Spot lock, the beauty of spot lock is it's gonna hold us in place. Right, and there's no sense in trying to cast into the wind if you don't have to. So we turn the boat into the wind, and now we're both standing in the back, casting to our fish. And uh, boat positioning is so critical in so many areas of fishing, and this is one way I think a lot of fishermen fail to recognize is you don't in our minds, you gotta be in the front of the boat. Why? Nitro has an outstanding deck space for both of us stand back here and cast to the fish. And we're both cashing in. wanted a little bone for this dog here and no, no he was just beating him up since yeah, well, thanks for leading the way on that, hey so. we, we we did a pretty good job trying to stay out of the wind for the most part rather it was a weed protected uh, uh bank 
or see wheat protected. I have a wind protected bank. Um, and we really tried to do the main lake deal for a long time. And then finally we just, we went into a man-made channel and a popular ice fishing area. And you know, it, was, it made perfect sense while those fish were there. We caught, we caught quite a few in our last hour and a half out of the water. Yeah, poor weather, man. Usually gets a bad rap, but he was spot on today. Like they were calling for heavy winds, and we got it. Yeah. This was, this was you know top, top couple times of uh, heaviest wind I've ever fished. Ooh, it was something else. Now, don't give him too much credit because they, we weren't supposed to get that much rain today. We got a lot of rain today too, so uh, you know that's how it is. But um, it is November. What's today's date? Twenty seven. Of November. It's Jeremy's birthday. Look, look, hunter fish. Got him a little birthday cake here. So Jerry Vanell, happy birthday. If you didn't see Jeremy and I last year in really cold weather as well, click on the link that's in the description. It should be popping up on screen about right now. Hunter Fish, appreciate you watching, tuning in. Hopefully to keep this fishing thing going all winter. There's a hopefully. We will. We're going to be fishing all winter long. Until next time, we will see you on the water. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Andy.